Welcome to the Chef's Kitchen. I'm your host, Nicole Gaffney, and we're here today with TBJ Gourmet, and we're going to be cooking up some of their amazing bacon jam with everybody's favorite chef, Tony Clark. Oh, wow. How are you, Tony? The jam is on. Yeah, it's great to see you, as yeah. always. What a, what a show. <sighs> this bacon, bacon jam, jam is amazing. I love it. I love yeah, it. Yeah, I love this stuff. Well, what are we making? Because it looks like you've got up all night. way too many ingredients up here, as you all always night. do. Yes, sir. We're going to make sweet, savory, Wouldn't be the Chef's breakfast, Kitchen with Tony lunch, Clark dinner. if we did it any no, no. other way. That's it. So we have some great things that we're going to get you working on right okay. away. Is we, you're going to make um, bacon pancakes. Yum. But it's going to be like a butter, a buttermilk pancake uh -huh. with bacon uh, jams in it. We're going to put a little uh, uh, traditional bacon jam. Okay. But just make it more like homey. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to start with a little flour. Some Is that warm enough? milk. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We want to warm the milk up just just a little bit. Why do you have to warm it? For the yeast to activate. Oh, the we're going to use yeast in a pancake. That's yep. not that common. Yeah. yeah. We have some sugar, mm -hmm. uh, there. some baking soda, baking powder. Sugar, just a pinch. Yeah. Pinch of each. The sugar you can go a little bit more. Okay. You know, if you want a little sweet, you don't, you don't no, normally don't have to have it, but I like it. Okay, so this is warm. I like that. So we just take a little yeast. So we're proofing it. Yeah, we put a little about a teaspoon in there. And what does this do? It just acts, activates it, wakes them All up. Right. They start eating it and say, mm. "Oh, because uh, yeast are. is alive, yeah, right?" They're sleeping right now. And it's just barely lukewarm. Right, and that's the key. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to um, crack an egg in there. Just one? Yeah, well, let's, let's go with one here. Yeah. Good. Okay. And then we're just going to a little bit here. Okay. And then take some little, little bit of milk here. All right. Okay. It's a pretty standard pancake batter, that's except for perfect. the yeast. That's, that's, that's really right. different. Okay, yeah. I like that. Because it gives a nice puffy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we're going to put some um, butter in there. Of course, we have to have butter. Okay. You browned it too. Yeah, I like that. Love that. Noisette, they call that. Mmm, smells so yes. good. Okay. Barely even started and it already right. smells good. Okay, then we're going to put, uh, that's the classic. That's what we're going to use in this, right? We're, that's what we're doing. How much? It, well, that's, that's the, the, the bait. The more the better, yeah, right? Yeah, well, yeah. It depends on who likes bacon. I think it's good. I, I, I don't think you have any fear of it. So we're just going to put that to in What's to be afraid there. of? Okay. Yeah, seriously, who doesn't like bacon? Right. So. And there's another bowl over here. Yep. What else do you have in mind? We're going to make beignets. Similar recipe Ooh. than the one we're making right now. Love beignets. Okay, good. I like that. Ooh. And tell me we're putting bacon jam in it, too. Yes, we are. Of course. It's a bacon jam show. This is, this is like my dream right here. See that? <laughs> there you go. Okay. All right, just put that in there. So you're looking for Let me see this. yep the consistency of like a, a pancake batter mm -hmm. for me is um, kind of thick mm -hmm. but not too uh, thin. I can so tell I you're can... trying not to overwork this. No, right. So we want to let that sit. Okay. Until we now we're going to make the beignet. All right. Okay. So we'll set this aside. Similar concept here. Swap out this bowl. All right. Same way. All right. What you just did. So. Pretty much the same base. Right, the same yeast. way, but a little thicker. Okay, so we're still doing the baking oh, we're gonna powder, the a, baking we're, soda. We're going to add a little bit of this too. What's this? This is a uh, buttermilk. Uh, it's like a it's like a dry buttermilk. I've so. never seen that ingredient before. Yeah, this is a uh, this is a uh, what they use when there's not a lot of buttermilk being used. Mm -hmm. So it's a dry product. Great. So when you buy buttermilk, you know you, you can't you have, you have to buy it and then it they always, say, what am yeah, I going to do with this? The rest of the buttermilk, right? Yeah, in the restaurant, yeah, that's good, but at home. I know my dad you know, goes in the refrigerator and drinks that, like, oh, geez, it looks <laughs> bad, you know. But that's only when my mom wants to, you know. Just mess with him? Yeah, and she likes to mess with him once in a while. So you put a little more yeast in there. All right. Okay, we take our egg. And we're doing the same thing. So sugar, thing. baking powder, right. baking soda. And we're going to put the same bacon jam in this, or are we going to do, do something else? Switch it up. Let's, Let's switch it up. Let's the pepper. Yeah, black pepper. Yep. Mm. I like that. With the beignet. And I think that that nice, you know, black pepper and sweets are very, very hot. Right oh, now. totally. And you know, beignets—they're from New Orleans, so right. you got to have a little bit of extra spice yeah, in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, we like that. Oh, I love the way you're going with the bacon. That's yeah, perfect. I go a little heavy on it. Add the egg. Good. Okay, now we're gonna add some milk. Good. A little heavy cream. A little. Now, you want this to be a little thicker than the pancake batter? Yes. Okay. But we want to let it sit first for a little bit. Okay, that's good. Perfect. Awesome. So 
we have some savory stuff working as well, yes? Right, but we're going to make a little uh, uh, jam for the pancakes. No. Okay. We, we have two more things to do. Stay tuned for more of the Chef's Kitchen. We're back with more from the Chef's Kitchen. Beautiful raspberries. Yeah, they're from my mother's garden. Really? Yep. Blackberries, they're black mm. raspberries. Right? So we take a little butter. Nice tartness. All right. We throw some sugar in there. Mm -hmm. That'd be generous. Well, it's jam, right? Yeah, that's more. right. That's okay. good. Okay. And then we'll set, throw, this is for the pancakes. So we're going to put the bacon jam in there. All right. But we can add a little bit of lemon to this too as well. What gave you the inspiration for this dish? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Having five kids. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, you got to get breakfast ready. I know, yeah. you know, every morning. Yeah, you gotta, anyway, you, you got to you know, make a shortcut. Okay, that's really doing good. I love that. Okay, I know. now there's some uh, the berries in there. How many are we talking here? Um, Oops. One round. I don't away. think you can go wrong. Put some of that juice in there. That's good. Oh, yeah, put some more in there. And we just want to cook it down. That's good. We put them a little bit more. Be aggressive. Oh, that's good. Okay. Okay, we can use, save some for the garnish. Good. And we just want to cook that down. Now we want to make the chocolate soup. Okay, so we start with the. Can I ask you what these are? Oh, yeah, they're um, carrots. Mmm, really? Yeah. Oh, they're delicious. Yeah. They snuck in there. Yeah, um, she does do that thing. So my, my mom's. Too. Love it. So, yeah. chocolate soup. Right. Okay, tell me about this. So this is um, like a chocolate sausage just that we're going to make a little thinner than you know, normal and we just want good chocolate. Mm -hmm. So we have 38% um, chocolate right here. Mm, yum. Valrono. The best. Good, right? Mm -hmm. All right, while you do that, Mike Orshevsky is going to join us. He's a co-founder wow, of boy, huh? TBJ Gourmet and of course the inventor of the bacon jam. Come on That's in, correct. join us. How you doing, Chef Clark? And originally from South Jersey. So it's true, South Jersey. We Jersey. like that. Of course. You know. <laughs> got to yeah, represent. In. You're in. You're in. You're <laughs> the contract's in. South Jersey's got to stick right. together. Yeah, Absolutely. Right. So yeah. tell me, why bacon jam? What made you come up with this in the first place? Hey, everybody loves bacon. <laughs> so true. we just made it easier to put on good, everything. Good point. We took a, uh, a, a, an idea that's been out uh, for foodies and, and gourmet chefs for years and just made it accessible to uh, the consumer by putting it in a jar. So Beautiful. Um, you know people to put bacon as I thought on most things we see now with Chef Clark if you can put it on everything. Yeah, you well, put it in your pancake batter. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, we would have thought of that. We had to go a little crazy. <laughs> Where can people buy it? Uh, so you can go to our website thebaconjams.com okay. and see all the stores that we're in. Nationally we're in Total Wine and More. Uh, oh awesome. And, but we're they're mostly, everywhere. Yeah, they're across the country, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, we are in fine gourmet food stores across the country as well. Very cool. Um, I know we have a little booth at my local farmer's market that sells Absolutely, that's jams. how we got started. It was, uh, it was uh, a, a Kickstarter crowdsourced campaign and then farmer's markets and food festivals until we started that's you know, so getting great. into the stores. So you guys are just like a total grassroots company Absolutely. that has the most amazing product ever. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> that's, uh, very humbling to hear. Good. Thank you. Go to thebaconjams.com, like he said, to order some. Why don't you give me a little pepper jam, pepper bacon jam? Uh, See, Tony makes everybody work. This one right there. Oh, yeah. Here you go. Put, they put a little bit in this. Uh, I like to go heavy with. My man, that's what I'm so <laughs> for. See? You're in good company. Because everybody yeah. wants more bacon. <laughs> everybody <laughs> wants more bacon. <laughs> well, good. Well, we'll see you back here in a little bit. Awesome. Thank you so okay. much. We'll return with more from the Chef's Kitchen. We now return to the chef's kitchen. Okay, so we're gonna add a little butter to this. Not too much, and we don't want this too hot. Okay. Okay, that's good. We're gonna mix that up a little bit. So pancakes are, when I was a breakfast chef. When were you a breakfast chef? Oh, it's the Four Seasons. Yeah? It was a tough job. I had to get I up bet. early in breakfast the morning. Breakfast is easily one of the toughest. Yeah, well, especially when you drank like the way I drank. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're the Irish pub and, and I would come in the morning. <laughs> and, okay, so we're just gonna come in here. So. We just go like this. So pretty low heat, I noticed. Always. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to look for a certain little air bubbles coming up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, look at that. Perfect. Perfect amount. Awesome. Always. One for me, one for you, one for Mike. Yep. <laughs> we're going to do some pasta. 
Pasta. Yeah. Interesting. With the bacon jam? Of course. Everything's having bacon jam today. I love that. Okay, so what we do is we get a little bit of um, a pan, a salt, salt tape Over pan. here. Right here. Good. Mm -hmm. Perfect. We'll start that there. And what's going on okay, with our so pancakes? I'm seeing some, oh, a little good. bit of smoke. If you see some bubbles. Mm -hmm. Okay. You ready to flip? We're ready to flip. So I'm adding some salt to the water. You have a preference? Angel hair pasta. Oh, that's good. This one's good. Okay. Look at that. That's yeah, looking good. Okay. Nice fluffy pancakes. That's not bad. Okay. Mm. So that's looking good. Now here we have the um, the spicy cayenne, well, then red pepper. Yum. Bacon. So right. we have three flavors that we've used so far. Right. The original, the black pepper, and the red pepper. Right. Spicy. So this is going to be the, for this. Okay. Very interested to see what you do here. <laughs> I do some it's always a surprise. A little crazy. Okay, while we're waiting for that, yep. that going on, that going on, let's do something with this tomato. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Those are my favorite kinds of tomatoes, is when they're really misshapen this like that. This is from the garden. Love it. Jersey? The only state. I mean, in Maryland says they have theirs. Yeah, it's not even worth eating a tomato yeah, from anywhere else. I know. See, we're not biased, though. We're just mm. experts, right? <laughs> exactly. We know better, right? Yep. So. Can't beat them. Juicy, sweet, tart. Right. Perfect. Okay, so this is perfect. I love about these tomatoes. Mm hmm. I used to just eat, walk around the, the house. Eat them like, and, a, yeah, like a peach. With a little salt. Yeah. Okay. Always salt. Let's turn this off. Pancakes done? I think they are. All right. Is this good? Okay, this is, we're going to throw these in here. Just like this, big and chunky. Okay. I'm curious to see where you're going. We're going. <laughs> that we are. We're going to throw some other vegetables in there. All right, so some cucumbers, cherry some tomatoes. English cucumbers, I love. Mm -hmm. Some red onions. Nice thin have. skins on mm -hmm. those. Throw a little cherry tomato in there. Okay. Now, why the cherry tomato and the big tomato? Okay. Okay. Some black pepper jam. These from the garden, too? Mm hmm. Okay. Some red wine vinegar. All right, so Tony. What was it like working with the bacon jam? You know, it, I love bacon, always did love bacon. So mm -hmm. it was um, trying to come up with something. When I looked up some ideas and uh, some ideas on, online, uh, I saw bacon hats, oh, bacon <laughs> outfits, You went down the bacon dresses. rabbit hole. Yeah, I went, yeah, went, down, <laughs> went down the wrong hole. <laughs> so I, I wanted to do something different than that. <clears throat> okay. And I think, uh, so I wanted to do something that I enjoy bacon with, mm -hmm. and that's where I want to go with it. Well, the pancakes is genius, because if you're not eating bacon with your pancakes, yeah, you're just you doing have it to. wrong. Right, I know. <laughs> you have to. Okay, so. Okay, now we're going to make some beignets, and they're going to go right inside here. Man. Okay. Now, would you serve this for breakfast, or would this really be a dessert? This is a dessert. Okay. Good. And then we're going to throw some marshmallows in there. Why not, right? It's a party. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Perfect. And then we're going to do this, is the pancakes now. Our pancakes. Right. Now, when I do pancakes, I do this. With the, mm. Oh, see, they're looking much better. Extra butter. Butter, butter, always butter. Mm. I love when it just melts right over the top. Right. Okay. And then? With the raspberries. Yes. So we're going to start with the one. So we're going to put a spoonful of raspberries on top. Oops. If you can. Be generous. That's good. That's good. Let me put another one. That's good. And then go to town. All right. Fantastic. Look at that. Oh. Perfect. We'll be right back with more from the Chef's Kitchen. Stay tuned for more of the Chef's Kitchen. It's good. 
need to take them out. Perfect. Put them right on the soup. Okay, so. Do you want to finish this with anything, anything else? No, that's else? perfect. All right, I'm going to take it to the taste okay. table. If you can plate up this pasta for me. Sure. The only thing is, I want to put a little bit more pepper in there, fresh mm. pepper. Oh, yeah. Okay, here's the pepper mill. Delicious. Okay, I want to saute this fish. What kind of fish is this? Grouper. Mmm, love grouper. I love grouper. It's good stuff. See what he said at the same time. Right? <laughs> okay. Great minds. Okay, so we have this with the vinegar and the jam, which is good. Wow. Bacon dressing is uh, something that's been around for a long time. Mm -hmm. So it's good to have it with the salad. I want to put some hard boiled eggs in there with the salad. I like that. Hard boiled eggs? Yeah, with, yeah I love it. In the summertime? It's different. Yeah. With, you don't see that with the tomato salad very often. No. Looks good. Okay. We're going to town, girlfriend. You got your bowl? Perfect. Got one. Okay, good. Now. Yum. Not bad? Very simple. Yeah, simplicity. Okay. How we doing? We're doing great. How are you awesome. doing? I'm doing good. <laughs> I'm doing all right. Now, why do you cut the grouper up like this? Well, we're just going to cook it a little faster this way. All right, great. Oh, look at that. He's going to town. You give me beignet batter and a pot oh, of oil, wow. I'm going to fry them Nobody up. told me about that about you. Beignet. I don't mess around. I know. <laughs> I heard that. I need to go a little higher with this, though. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I threw a little butter in there. Now I'm going to throw a little of my red pepper jam mm. in there. Oh, I love this. We're going to town with this. Oh, that sweetness with the garlic. Little, right. little vinegar. Mm -hmm. You know, because you got all the fatness, and now you want your vinegar. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Gorgeous. Mm. Love when you get that color on the fish. Yeah. Good and then we're going to plate it up. Because really, it's going to keep cooking once it sits. Yeah. When I cook, it, when I do it this thin, but look how nice that is, and the smell. Awesome. Oh, oh, it smells and, amazing. Anytime you put the bacon jam on yeah. anything, and with a little like bit of vinegar and a bacon, the fat and the vinegar, that's mm. good. Okay, ready? That's it. And it's healthy because you got cabbage in it. We're ready to go. Ready to eat? Yeah. Awesome, Tony. You have outdone yourself yeah, this too, time. Yeah. Wow. Let's bring Mike huh? back in. What do you think about this spread? I think we've hit all the major uh, <laughs> meals. We have this breakfast, appetizer, uh, we this have entree. This is what New Jersey entree. water does to <laughs> yeah, <people. laughs> Right. This Here is amazing. Fork. Awesome. fork for you. Oh, thank you. Cheers. Salute. Prost. <laughs> I'm going to try this fish. I'm going into the pancakes yeah, first. Good As move. a breakfast yeah, yeah. chef yeah, myself, oh, yeah, this is where. Uh, mm. Mm. Wow. The sweetness from the jam, and then like the smokiness mm -hmm. from the bacon and the vinegar. That's awesome. <laughs> How are they? Fantastic. Amazing. It's not bad. Huh? Mm. Mm. You just went right in with your hands. That's oh, sick. yeah. I mean, there's no yeah. other way to eat a yeah. beignet. I love That's how sick. the marshmallows right. is melted. Mm -hmm. Chocolate soup. I know. It's sick. Like that should be a recipe for that soup. You should. <laughs> Oh, but they're so good. And the bacon, like the bacon jam is mm -hmm. subtle, but it's there. You now you get a little bit of the mouthfeel from the bacon. Yeah. It's and perfect. the sweetness from it. And it's, it, it's nice with the bitterness of the chocolate. I mean, I could eat this stuff just by the spoonful, but it's great that it plays a nice supporting role too, it you know? 
Now we've got three different flavors that we used here today. Why don't you tell us what those three are? So we have, uh, well, <laughs> you have yeah, first. Sure. There's the original, of course. Of course, we have the classic mm -hmm. uh, variety, which was the uh, the baseline recipe: mm -hmm. bacon, brown sugar, onions. Awesome. Um, it's the sweetest of the three. Uh, there is half a pound of bacon in every jar. Oh my god! We have the black pepper, which is probably my favorite. It's yeah. the one that most chefs use in yeah. restaurants. Yeah. I like um, the black pepper too. And this is uh, made with a black pepper bacon. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, we have the smoky barbecue. This one is um, like almost, it's made with a sweet chili. Nice. Uh, so it has it's a, a very nice um, uh, medium, you know, uh, flavor to it compared to the other ones. Again, half a pound of bacon in the jar. This so one good. I love on pan seared scallops. Oh. Um, uh, I've seen the, you've amazed me with what you've used it for here with the, the grouper. You can go one of my right favorite out of the fish. jar, right onto the pro cooked product. That's yeah, you, it you can great finish on with its it, own. or yeah. you can cook with it. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. like so, so yeah. how you, you you incorporate it in the dish, yeah. but then also finish with it. It's right. fantastic. Yeah. Exactly. And like how I said, it. eat it right with a spoon. Yeah, well, this was so much fun today, you guys. What a great exactly. product to be able to use in the kitchen, and of course, Tony, you've like I said, you've really outdone yourself. Yeah, yeah. TheBaconJams.com. TBJGourmet.com. Both work. You can find all the stores we're in on those, uh, both those websites awesome. and, uh, and buy the product there as well. That's great. Thank you both. Thank you so Good much. Jam, <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Chef. Bye <laughs> <laughs>that was a nice treat. It was fantastic. I just it just got things going. I, I looked online, it went the other direction, but it just it was a really good quality product. It was just nice to have. Something you should have in your refrigerator.